Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Sunday, July 25th, 2021, and I am coming on here for another Wings update for July. For those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I live in the Chicago area. I like to crochet. I like yarn. I like to make stitch markers, so go check out my Etsy shop. Um, and this channel, along with you guys this year, and we did this last year too, are crocheting, knitting, loom knitting, and hand sewing and hand making things for a domestic violence organization based here in Chicago called Wings. So I will have all of the links for Wings down below their um, website, um, the link for smile.amazon.com, where if you make purchases with Amazon and you choose Wings as your charity, they will donate a certain percentage of your purchase to Wings. Um, there's also a list of what we are collecting every month Keep in mind, this was requested by my contact at Wings. So I do appreciate everyone who has sent in donations in the past and anyone who's thinking of sending in donations in the future. So uh, just as a recap for this month, which is July, they have requested stress balls. And I do have quite a few stress balls to show you today. So that's pretty exciting. And then for August, their request is winter wear because they do their... Um, um, winter wear drive in October so they have to get that all organized and straightened out. So winter wear includes hats, scarves, cowls, kids hats and scarf sets, um, fingerless mitts, mittens, anything that uh, you could wear in the winter time. It does get really bitterly cold here in the Chicago area in the winter time. So anything that you send in would be greatly appreciated. And that's not until August. So I think we have what, like another week and then you can start sending in your, um, your donations for August. For September, we have kitchen aprons and they are looking for plus size if possible. Um, I did find a few crochet tutorials here on YouTube and I did add them to the wings playlist. So if you guys wanna go check those out or if you find anything else, um, please feel free to do those. Uh, if you sew, you can sew some aprons. That would be great as well. And the other thing they're looking for for September is doll clothes. And that can be any size, any style for boy, girl, babies, whatever kind of doll clothes you like to make, um, crocheted, knitted, uh, loom knitted, if that's a thing, <laughs> and sewn, whatever you guys would like to send in, they would greatly appreciate it. And yes, I did say any size. Um, so I think that is it for the initial updates here for Wings. And the first thing, I do have 10 donations for you guys today. And I believe most of these items are stress balls, if I can remember when I was opening up the bags. So we're gonna get started, but the first thing I have is not actually a um, box. And if you saw my last regular video, then you already have seen this. I got an envelope and it is from this fabulous lady named Michelle Chapone, and she is in Washington. And she sent this thank you card and inside she writes, Rose, you know you're amazing, right? Yes, you are. Uh, love you bunches from Michelle. And then she sent me a note, she typed it up, and it says, hi Rose, how are you and the family doing? I am sending you this gift card as a thank you gift for one of our lovely YouTube family members who donate to Wings. I have been taken back by the sheer number of donations each month that I felt compelled to send this. I am incredibly grateful to be a part of this amazing group. I am incredibly grateful too. Keep up the amazing work you do, Rose. You are truly an inspiration to so many, including me, sending hugs and love, Michelle. So Michelle sent a $50 Visa gift card, and that will be included in the July thank you gifts. Um, for those of you who are new here, every month we do thank you presents um, that were donated to me as a way to thank you guys who are donating to Wings. So for example, we have project bags, makeup bags, 
We have a goodie box with yarn. We have um, crochet kits. We have patterns. We have journals. We have stitch markers. Now we have a $50 gift card. So there's a lot of ways that we are saying thank you and, um, and just showing our appreciation that you have donated to Wings. So Michelle, thank you so much for sending that gift card. I'm going to be really excited to give that away in July. So keep in mind, that's not a giveaway. It's a thank you for people who donate to Wings. And I use a random number picker at the end of every month. And that's how we choose who our winners are for the thank you prizes. So Michelle, thank you again. Okay, so like I said, we only had 10 items and that was one of them. So we're gonna get to these. I have um, four bags and I think five boxes, um, but a couple of the boxes are pretty big. So let's get started. So the first bag comes from Mary and she is from New York and she sent this card. And by the way, you guys, if you do send something, you don't have to include a card or a note. You can just write wings on the package and I'll know what it's for. So I do appreciate those of you who do send a card. She writes, two rose carrots and the zoo. Here are a few stress balls. Sorry, I could not make more in the middle of moving to Florida. I also put wings as my donation on Amazon. Hugs from Mary Madeline Hagel. Wow, Mary. Thank you so, so much for doing that. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, by the way, if the stress balls are in a bag, I'm gonna leave them in a bag, but she did not put them in a bag. So I'm gonna show you guys the stress balls. They're so cute. There's four and here is another four. Oh my God, these are awesome. I just love them. There's another four and then there's two. So, oh my gosh, those are perfect. Mary, thank you so, so much for sending those stress balls. They're awesome. I love it. You know, um, people that are in that environment probably have a lot more stress than the rest of us do on a daily basis. So this will definitely help them uh, relieve that stress. Thank you so much. Okay, next. So the next bag comes from Wanda and she's from California. And she sent me a note. It says, hi Rose, here are 25 stress balls for wings. I will be sending washcloths in October from Wanda. Oh my gosh, Wanda, thank you so much. Yeah, so if anyone has heard about the the drive for the washcloths that's not until October but so thank you so so much for keeping wings in mind so I'm not going to take them out of the bag because she has them so nicely in there so look at that 25 of these adorable stress balls I love them they're different colors and textures and patterns and those are absolutely perfect. So Wanda, thank you so much for sending all of those stress balls. I really do appreciate it. Now on a side note, you guys, I made one stress ball and it was very stressful for me. <laughs> so here is my contribution for July. I apologize. I am not as adept at the amigurumi and the little small things as you lovely people are. And so I appreciate you holding me up on this month's <laughs> uh, donation item. But anyway, there is my stress ball. It was just made with some scrap yarn and I'm going to put it in the pile with the rest of them and it's going, it's leaving because I don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for the next one? So the next bag comes from Naomi and she is from Pennsylvania. Hi, Naomi. She sent a bag of stress balls and there was a note on there and she writes, uh, didn't have time to get a card and that's okay. <laughs> she says, hi Rose, here are some stress balls for July Wings donations. I enjoyed watching the replay of your live with Fiber Spider and Lisa. I laughed so hard when the one stress ball you made, you said stressed you out. <laughs> I want to thank you, thank you and everyone that donates for Wings. Love Naomi, your purple chocolate yarn lover yarny friend <laughs> oh my gosh right oh my gosh you guys we can all be best friends you don't even have to like purple I mean it would help if you like chocolate but it's okay if you don't because then that's more for me <laughs> anyway so here are these gorgeous stress balls that Naomi made there's nine of them and they're big and oh my god squishy and they're beautiful and I guess the good thing about stress balls is you can just use scrap yarn so you don't have to go out and buy any yarn, you know, unless you want to. Um, so Naomi, thank you so much for sending these beautiful stress balls. I really appreciate it. I appreciate that you took the time to do that. 
Um, and I do appreciate everyone that donates to Wings. Um, and, and I also appreciate everyone who watches these videos and leaves positive comments for the people who donate. That really is helpful too. So let's get to the next one. So the next bag comes from Rosalie Wright and she's from Pennsylvania. And before anyone questions, it's not the Rosalie Wright with a YouTube channel. So there was no note in the bag and that's fine, but Rosalie sent some stress balls. So I'm gonna show you the stress balls. Check out that Christmassy one. Oh my gosh. So there is four and here is another four i love them and here is another four so 12 stress balls thank you so so much rosalie i do appreciate it i think this one is my favorite one it's so cool looking um but i really do appreciate you taking the time to make these and send them in they're awesome i'm sorry i'll stop squeezing the balls now <laughs> all right next so the next box comes from Ellen and she is from Tennessee. Hi, Ellen. And she sent me some notes on a card and let's see what she says here. She says, Dear Rose, I so enjoy seeing all the items people send in and admire your never ending enthusiasm. It's so exciting, you guys. You know what I'm talking about. Just the trips to and from the post office would wear me out, much less all the other work you do for wings. Thank you from Ellen. Okay, so she's got... Um, some note cards here on what she did and she sent a big bag of stress balls. So let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so she writes small blanket yarn balls. Oh, she's got instructions. You know what? I'm not going to read the instructions. I'm going to put this up by the camera and if you guys want to take a screenshot of that, let me get my finger out of the way. So here are her instructions in case you just want basic instructions for a little stress ball. On the back of the card, it says for larger, do one more increase round to 24 stitches and one more decrease round. Okay, so did you guys get that? Okay, so that's for these. And then she did some puzzle balls, uh, worsted weight, weight H hook. So that's these balls right here and then she's got instructions on the front and on the back so i'll hold this up here for a couple second seconds so i don't have to read this to you so there's the front so you can pause it and then take a screenshot or write it down and then here is the back of it and i'll leave that up for a couple of seconds and if anyone can't get this i'll hold on to these recipe cards <laughs> and if anyone did not get a chance to write them down I will try and uh, send them to you in an email if you want to email me okay so awesome Ellen thank you so much for sending the instructions first of all and then I'm just going to put them back in the bag so they stay safe and then I'll show you guys all of the stress balls that she sent oh they're so cool I love those puzzle balls and look there's one that looks like a cactus so cool. Ellen, thank you so much for taking time to make them and then write down the pattern and then mail them and then send them. And I really appreciate it. And I know Wings will appreciate it too. So thank you so much. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Marion Andrews and she's from Alabama and she sent me this card. You guys are so sweet. She says, hi, Rose. Thank you for all you do for Marion. So Marion orders stitch markers for me. So she returned some of my bags. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marion. I'll have to give you a special discount the next time you order. Just remind me that you sent me back some bags. <laughs> so so Marion sent a little box and she's got a dozen stress balls in there. Can you guys see those? Oh, they're awesome. Marion, thank you so much for sending this. It's a dozen stress balls in there. So that is so cool. I love them. Thank you so, so much for sending those. I appreciate um, all your effort in doing that and, you know, taking the time to mail those in. I think they're so cool. Um, I'm a little jealous of people that can just do this many of them. <laughs> So, all right, let's get to the next box. So the next box comes from Dixie and she is from Texas. 
and she put this card in the box. Oh my gosh. Okay. And she writes, hi Rose, just a few stress balls, having health issues, but wanted to get some made. Giving to wings gives me a happy heart. I love to crochet and I love even more in giving to, to those that can use them and to and no, each item is made with lots of love. Glad we are doing this again this year, and thank you for doing what you do to make it possible for us to do for those in need. Thanks, stay safe, Dixie Powell. Well, Dixie, I hope you're feeling better, and I'm gonna show you this big bag of stress balls that Dixie sent. They are awesome. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love all of them, all the different colors, all the different sizes. They're absolutely beautiful. You did an amazing job, and yes, it feels good to give, right? It's it's an amazing feeling, and something as small as a stress ball, knowing that that will help someone, more than one person, is a pretty good feeling. So Dixie, thank you so, so much for sending in these stress balls. Okay, we got two more boxes, guys. All right, you guys, so the next box was really big and it didn't have a return address on it, but it had a note in there and it says, Hi Rose, this box contains crocheted stress balls and stress balls purchased from Oriental Trading back in May. You do not need to show the purchased ones. The crocheted stress balls are all in a separate bag. Your yarny friend, Sharon. Sharon, thank you so much. So even though they're from Oriental Trading and you, it's a huge bag, you guys, they'll still use them, so I do appreciate it. So I'm gonna show you the ones that are store-bought. So here is this huge bag of stress balls, and they're all different kinds, and they're really, really cool looking. I like those. They're pretty cool. Okay, so that was the bag of the ones that were from Oriental Trading, and then this big, huge bag is from Sharon. Oh my gosh, Sharon, you're a stress ball machine. Do you guys see how big this bag is? This is awesome. Wow, Sharon, you are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for sending all of these crocheted stress balls and even the ones from Oriental Trading. You know, you had to buy those with your money and you had to pay for shipping to send them all here. So I really, really do appreciate it. It's super, super helpful and the people at Wings will appreciate it too. So thank you so, so much. Okay, one more box, guys. All right, this next box comes from Angelina and Marina, and they're from New Mexico, and you are not even gonna believe what is in this box. So they sent me a card. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's the card, and it says, um, thank you for everything you do to help others. This is our first time making stress balls and donating to wings. May God bless you, carrots and the zoo from Angelina and Marina. And then she has a note that says for Rose only. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, I don't even know if I want to take these out. Oh my gosh, there are so many of them. You guys, this huge box is completely, completely full of stress balls. So, you know what? I'm going to take out a couple so you guys can see them. They're like these big monster uh, blanket stress balls. And then oh, there's some that look like a taco. That looks like a taco. That is so cool. And then just like regular yarn stress balls, but they're big. Oh my gosh. There's so many in here. I don't even know how many there are. There are like 50 or 60 of them in here. So this is absolutely incredible. See, I'm just going to keep taking them out and squeezing them because it feels good to do that. Like, I don't even know you guys, there's different shaped ones in here. Oh my gosh. These are, here's another taco one. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to see if there's anything different. Here is one that's different. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that would work really well as a stress ball. Here's one that's got like a green top to it. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Angelina and Marina, thank you so much for sending all of these stress balls. Maybe I can just show you guys. The, I mean, it's still completely packed and I've already taken out like 20 stress balls. 
So thank you so much for sending all these. This is so awesome. I'm actually going to put these just right back in the box like this and bring this over to Wings just like this. This is so incredible. You guys are awesome. So, um, you know, today is the 25th. And so we only have about a week left for July to get your stress balls in. And then we will start with August, which is hats, scarves, winter wear. Um, as a reminder, they do want handmade items. So um, I don't even think hats and scarves are out in the store. But if they are, don't buy any of the, the store-bought stuff. They would, um, they're asking for the handmade stuff. So that is it, you guys. I hope this wasn't too long for you. I know I say that every time and everyone like no 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 it's okay um but you know i just want to be uh, cognizant of your time too so that is all i have and i will talk to you guys another time have a great day or a great night wherever you are bye